All week, we've been talking about getting better sleep with ABC News Live anchor and the author of Sleep Fix, our friend Diane Macedo. And Diane's back along with behavioral sleep medicine specialist Dr. Michael Grandner. Today, they're taking your questions. It's great to have you both here. It's good to see you again. Thanks for having me. Thank so you. let's do this. Let's thank you, doctor. Let's do this. Doctor, I want to start with you first, if I could, with my own question. So um, as, uh, what do you see in your practice? What are the most common sleep issues you see? And do you think sleep issues are genetic? Can you know, families inherit them? Yeah, the most common sleep problems in the population are people getting poor sleep quality or not enough sleep. But what shows up in the clinic are sleep disorders like insomnia, where people take a long time to fall asleep or, or can't stay asleep at night, at least three nights a week, and it becomes a problem for their day, or sleep apnea, where people have difficulty breathing during the night, and that causes daytime problems. Um, regarding the genetics, there is actually quite a bit of study on the genetics of sleep problems. They do tend to run in families. Uh, some people may be more predisposed to some sleep problems than others, but many of them are actually more treatable than people realize. Huh. Uh, well, that's, uh, that is good news for people who struggle with sleep issues. So let's get to some of our viewers' questions. This first one is from Dean. Do either of you have any comments <laughs> regarding uh, what you eat uh, before you go to bed and how that may influence how you sleep? That's a great question. And Diane, you talked about this in your book. What's your advice? Yeah, so w what I found in my research with the book was that a lot of people try to eat carbs early in the morning, if at all, so that they'll burn them off by the end of the day. But carbs actually have some sleep-promoting properties, including helping tryptophan reach the brain. So if you have trouble sleeping, it can sometimes help to focus on protein meals earlier in the day so you can build up tryptophan and then at have complex carbs later in the day so you can get that tryptophan to the brain and help yourself feel drowsy. The other part I want to address is there, there are a lot um, of conversations out there around acid reflux saying not to eat within three hours before bed or four hours before bed. But some of us have trouble sleeping on an empty stomach. So it can also be helpful to have a sleep friendly light snack, something with complex carbs, maybe 200 calories within an hour or a half hour before bed. You just want to you don't want to be eating a big meal before bed. No uh, pepperoni pizza. Exactly. Right. No, OK, I'll remember that. Uh, our second question is from Carlin on Twitter. She said, being in the military, there are times when operating that you may pull 12, 16, or 18-hour days. I think it requires training to adapt back or adjust after your service. How does training apply to sleep? So, uh, Dr. Grandner, you know, this also happens for all kinds of people, journalists, right? When we're covering uh, earthquakes, conflict zones, we're in different parts of the world. Uh, we get affected the same way. What do you think about the, her question, Carlin's question? Yeah, I mean, I've seen this a lot with, with my work in veterans, but people of all kinds of professions in our society inadvertently train ourselves into um, difficult sleep patterns. The good news is that most of these are treatable. We can train our way out of them. It may take time to achieve balance, but there are strategies that people can use to help realign some of their sleep patterns. So. Um, I think this person's exactly right, that many of these patterns can stick for a long time, uh, but there are things that people can do to, to help realign their schedules. Um, here, there's a few tips here on the screen, um, but really it's about achieving balance. It's not about overcompensating too much and, and letting the pendulum swing too wildly. It's about trying to find that point of balance. Get into that sleep groove, uh, which we all see. Yeah. We've got another. And, and if yeah, we have got... a sleep disorder. Come and see someone who's a specialist. Maybe it's not something you can do on your own. Maybe you need some help. Exactly, exactly. And we're glad uh, that you guys are out there for us. So we got another question from Twitter. What's the best way to fall back asleep when I'm woken up in the middle of the night? Now, this one uh, sounds very familiar. There are times I'm just up. Maybe it's my age, getting on in years. You know, and I'll be awake at three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, and just can't get back down to sleep. So, Diane, with a new baby at home at the other end of the age spectrum, you could probably answer this one. It, ha it happens a lot. I think it depends on how you feel, but uh, I feel like the golden rule, if, if you're in bed 
awake and long enough to feel frustrated, get out of bed, do something enjoyable and relaxing, and go back to bed when you feel sleepy. Because what you don't want to do is lay in bed awake and let all those frustrations carry out, because then your brain can eventually start to think that bed is where you're supposed to be awake and worrying. And again, I want to emphasize what Dr. Grander said. If you're someone who has these problems a lot and regularly, go see a sleep specialist. They can absolutely help in treating these conditions, can absolutely save your life. All right, that's great. Great advice from both of you. Diane and Dr. Grander, thanks very much. Uh, thanks both. And there it is. There's Diane's book, The Sleep Fix. It's out now. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.